gentlemen for evening it is indeed cold and dark <clears throat> start off with a bit of bad news i broke my gnaw it's a, i'm really fucking got it um there's a little sweet spot in this room i've just realized where if you stand on it this these shelves be some behind me shake it doesn't happen at any other point just that point came in he fell off the shelf now transformers fall off shelves but they normally don't break but this guy broke and I'm absolutely got it. So this is an appeal. Does anybody have a left arm of a gnaw? Someone out there must have a redundant, intact left arm that I can stick on this bad guy. He's an original uh, gnaw. There is a, there has been a, uh, not a reissue, but like a knockoff version, which looks pretty good, but the face looks shit. Um, I would like, does anybody have... Exchange details and I'll send you something really cool and really sweet from my big collection here. It'll be kind of something really naff and funky at the same time. But I, I really broke a fucking no. I'm good. This is one of my favorite Transformers. I'm not even kidding you. A lot of people hate this guy. I love it. Anyway. Um, smell wood, wood smoke. A um, <clears throat> couple of things. So... There's been another response, uh, a couple more responses. Thanks to George for um, clarifying Generation 1 continuity. I haven't looked at the whole thing yet. I looked at the first, uh, I looked at the first five minutes or so, and you can just tell, I know that he's got it down. Everybody should favorite that, uh, that video because it's an education, absolutely is an education. And it's the kind of thing I need to watch two or three times a week just to get myself up to speed. Well done, Georgie. I knew you could do it. Um, <clears throat> today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to review Rail Racer. Now, I'm going to review all three and then combine them. Now, it's not going to be horrendously long because this gestalt, that's the correct way to pronounce it. I've done my research. This gestalt, this this combiner team from Robots in Disguise is quite an easy one to get together. So I have to uh, say, first of all, Berserk212, I don't know your real name, man, guy, I think I used to know it, but you've been away for so long and haven't done anything in such a long time. So this was your idea, and that's a good idea. Uh, thank you very much for it, because it went, yes, that's the one I'm going to do tonight. I have to also say to... Terminator, ter terminating you, uh, David from Alabama. Thank you very much for your nice comments, guy. You rock, dog. So um, <clears throat> we shall begin. Rail Spike. Yes, they are trains. Midnight Express. Look at him. He's a little banana shape, doesn't he? Sure, it should be a bit more like that. Yeah. And then we've got Rapid Run. He's the old timer, if I remember rightly. Now. <clears throat> These guys, they've, they've all got accoutrements. I, I have all their, their accoutrements, one of which is a little bit broken. And sometimes whenever you've got bots and you've got their little accoutrements, see this one lights up quite nicely. Can you see that? You never know which way. I mean, I, I don't know. Can I do that? You know, but you, you can do that. But there was this long sort of opaque plastic bit. And I thought, well, I better fold that out of the way. And of course, I broke it. And there's a hinge on it. Maybe the hinge has got a little stiff. Maybe you're not meant to move it at all. Anyway, let's get on with it. Now look at Rail Spike. He is the leader of the team. I'm not going to review them individually. Uh, rather, I'm not going to uh, give you any individual bio. And I'm not going to give you any... Here's another interesting thing. I'm not going to give you a, a bio of Rail Racer. The combined form. Because I can't find one. I don't think one exists. That seems to be the way things go. What kind of train is he? He's a, a really quick one. That's as much as I know. Um, he probably is a proper kind of train. A proper, listen to me, a proper kind of train. He, he's a Japanese bullet train. I, I know that much. They're all Japanese bullet trains. So um, to me, that sounds Japanese, high tech, bullet train goes really quick. A really quick high tech train. Are you content with that? Because I bloody am. The big Autobot symbol on the side. They're very nice. 
And on the other side, we have 500 Cybertron. Yes, can you can just about see that. 500 Cybertron. Not so much nastiness underneath, but... I mean, this is the this is a perfect kind of shape for transformation because it's you know it's more or less a a shape. It's not a complicated shape like um, some beast or what is a complicated shape? I suppose a complicated shape was something particularly Cybertronian, um, but this is just essentially a block that transforms. And it, but so consequently, the bots look pretty good. Um, just transform quite quickly here. Like I say, this is Rail, Rail Spike. I had to jot down the names very quickly, just in case I forgot them. Because quite often with these things, the names, especially these big, these Gestalt teams, and this isn't one of the more popular Gestalts, and I, I know why, I know why. It's because he's from RAD, it's because he's from the Robots in Disguise Car Robots line, and that's not one of the massively favoured lines. But um, it's very, very nice nonetheless. And like I say, Berserk212, this one's for you. Dog, whatever your name is, I'm going to call you Margaret. Um, there we go. Now, he does have a weapon. Nice little thing. There he is. Odd little thing. But, I mean, hey, bots are always odd little things, aren't they? Watch Dark of the Moon last night again. It's probably a little bit better at home. It's still kind of shit. But, oh, let me just... Let me just fix this guy's little uh, torso bit here. I think it's most like that, yeah. Um, he does have a weapon. It's one of these things. I think it's this. Now, these guys all link together in train form. Whatever. Uh, that's nice. Is it nice? Well, I think Takara, it's just the Takara thing. They all got around the table and thought, trains, hey, why don't we just put a little uh, trailer hook on them and a little hole, then we can link them all together and we can have three trains just... You know, it's an extra thing for the kids. Yep, maybe. I don't care. I've never done it. I'm not going to do it. I like this bot. He, he suffers a lot. He suffers from what all thin bots suffer for. Uh, I've suffered from a lot of thin bots where he, where he has I have to pee syndrome. He, he, he really does. This guy really has got to pee. Um, if you stand his legs apart, he still looks like he's got to pee. Or he looks uh, like... Um, his legs have come out of plaster too soon but he stands well because he's got look at the length of his feet he stands really well and I, I do you see this affair here this kind of wing thing wing thing oh i like the sound of that it's kind of wing thing i like that by the way will you've done a response vid uh to the uh christmas thing i haven't watched it yet but i will you're the man dog nice this is rail racer the leader rail racer the leader now what does he compare in size to a pencil quite favorably it is a swanky pencil Next, Midnight Express. He's a little floppy there. He's a little floppy. He says, Max Cybertron. This is Max from Cybertron, not Midnight Express at all. Anything on the other side, he also says Max Cybertron. Um, <clears throat> yeah, because they weren't quite deluxe and they weren't quite mega. So I believe that sometimes uh, whenever they, whenever Takara issued all three of them together, if they were in a windowless box. I know there were a lot of complaints about the quality of the paint, uh, paint apps and all kinds of other things, but hey, you know, plastic, older plastic, the older plastic is, sometimes the little funkier it gets. This guy's going to fall apart as I transform him. He is, what's the word? I always forget this word. There's a word I always forget. anti establishment terrorism. No, it's not. It's the word asymmetrical. That's the word I can, I rarely recall when I really need to. Um, he's got big fat legs. Elephantiasis, poor bastard, he really does. Um, so even bots aren't immune to that terrible crippling disease. You'll see, because one foot is the front of the train, and the other foot is the rear of the train, and you have to transform it by doing that. Stick it out like that. Bob's your uncle, funny is a bad word. Not long, now, let's just give him. Now, he does have a weapon, but uh, I have it. I don't think I've got all their missiles, but I've got all their weapons. But I'm not going to transform I'm not going to uh, bother putting the weapon in hand. The weapon does incorporate quite nicely into the into the train mode, and he'll hold it very well and all the rest of it. You see, asymmetrical. He's got this kind of reminiscent for me of the Skybite thing, because Skybite is asymmetrical as well. You can see in his feet, definitely. Close up of his face. Yeah, he looks like a happy boy, doesn't he? 
Um, very good representation to the uh, how he is in the show. Um, now, almost the opposite of this guy. This guy doesn't need to go to the toilet. He's just got really fat legs. This is water retention big time. So maybe it's been a very long time since he had a pee. But he's still a nice bot. Let's see him next to rail. Spike. Uh, oh, there's a bit of a size difference there, isn't there? Ah, oh, yeah, kind of. This guy is a little smaller than this guy, but this guy's the leader. He's the leader. Now, this is Midnight Express, and when you've seen him on the show, he was kind of uh, characterized as this kind of old-timer, a bit like a cup or something like that. Not a cup, but, you know, K-U-P, that guy. He has, an he has a weapon that's integrated that forms part of the, the alt mode. So any bot, I think I might have said previously, any bot who's... Uh, Alt mode has a weapon or accessory incorporated at an, as an integral part of their alt mode. I keep the uh, accessory or weapon on it. Otherwise, it gets a, it's put away in storage in a bag with a label on it. Autobot, obviously. What does he say? He says, Railstar Cybertron on the side. Yes, he certainly does. Um, again, nice train. Gray as opposed to the white of the other two. This guy, yeah, like all trains, there's so much, it, it, it's so easy to work with in terms of bots because you just basically, you know, it's a very simple, very basic transformation. You do the same thing for each one. Do you want those heels down? I don't think you need them. You do the same thing for each one. Nice, simple transformation. Look at this. I like this funky little thing going on here. Again, this guy needs to find a loo quite quickly. Oh, too late. There's heads popped out. Yeah, sometimes it happens. One moment. This head pops off. Why do we say that? Have a little look at the head. Funky little head there. Um, but it goes on again quite easily. What I can do, I suppose, is I can take this bit down. Then pop the head out. Oh, it still wants to come off. But, you know, these guys are, what are they, 10 years old? They're probably a little more than that. Yeah, I think they are a little, little more than that, actually. A little more than 10 years old. So, you know, they're allowed to have little bits pop off them now and again. The, uh, <clears throat> the more bots we get over the years, the kind of better designed they get. Although, I mean, I have a thing or two to say about that, obviously, because I'm not a fan of the movie figures. Um, I say that the, the mechanics of the, the design is uh, much more interesting. But that's not to say that the actual that I actually prefer how the bots look. He's probably the most successful, although he's got this giant chest piece. So you can just transform this little bit of the train's rear cab into a shield, which is quite a nice little thing. And we'll pop it into his hand, because we may as well. This is little Midnight Express, the old timer. Yes, and he does look a bit like an old timer. Nice. All three of them together, very nice. Um, so, quite easy to get them into rail racer mode. Um, basically, this guy is going to form the legs, we hope, because uh, he's obviously got the biggest, yes, he's got the biggest plates of meat of any of them. So, you just put his head away. Come on, put your little head away. Reverse that little thing. That's it. He's ready to receive something in these little clips up here. Yes, he is. We take this bad boy, he's going to form the torso. We've got to open this up like that. I can't remember exactly where this goes, but I'm sure all will, will become clear. It, it's interesting because there's lots of uh, there's lots of opening out of bits. And uh, you see there's this big gap in the center. And then this definitely comes down like this. I really like this. It's an interesting little transformation. It slides round like that. And then do we go down as well? Well, I think we do. Hold on. Oh. Sorry, a little brain fart there. Um, so once you rotate this front cab section on Midnight Express, it nice little sliding joint. And I do like a sliding joint in a bot. I don't really know why. Um, I think it's it, it's kind of the ultimate secret joint. You just don't see them and you don't expect them. Now, I'll come back to this. Suffice to say that you just kind of open them up all the ways that you can. And I'm going to prepare this little guy because he's going to become the head section. And a yeah, very nice head section he makes. His head's on a little spring there, which is cool. Oh, that way, yes. 
So, what do we do? We're going to take this guy, this, put the arms away. It is a really successful uh, Gestaltus. It, it certainly is one of the better ones in terms of how he looks uh, when he's combined in the combined mode. He's almost the, what is, uh, he's almost the epitome of a good Gestalt because he's got fairly good alt modes, fairly good robots, and a fairly good Gestalt uh, or combined mode. That's as much as you can expect, I think, from uh, a uh, combiner these days because something has to compromise along the way. You have to kind of reform the, 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 the uh, train cab. Something has to compromise. And of course, whenever we think of uh, the Generation 1 bots, there was an awful lot of compromise there because we had pretty good alt modes. Uh, but we had, you know, generally shocking. Come on, speaking of shocking, let's sort this out, shall we? You had generally shocking um, robots. I mean, I can't think of any of the uh, Generation 1 uh, combiners that had awesome robot modes. Okay, uh, the Predacons were pretty good, um, but they, they had their flaws as well. They certainly did. These are going to form his arms here, which are quite cool. I like the way these happen. So this guy is ready to be plugged into the other guy. I can do the head reveal at the end, which I will absolutely. Anything else I need to do here? Oh, I need to do that. Sorry. Yeah, there's a lot of bone socket joints here. Stuff pops off, but hey, that's okay. They're getting a little older, like myself. Sorry, little brain fart there again. So you take a rapid run here, and this section... It's a, it is a bit of a mess and it takes a little bit of getting used to, but once you've done it once or twice, you know, it's fine. And then this section, you see, this is where the sliding joint was and there's a convenient port just underneath there where this, that's a bit rude, where the sliding joint is going to go. And there's also uh, post and ports, which will click in very nicely, where, although you do have to convince them to go in a little bit. Just about, we're in the right place now. Come on, you bad boy. Click and click, please. Make me a happy man. Any minute. There we go. They're clicked nicely. And like I say, we can keep the head revealed to the last. I always like that with a bot. And then there's post and port and post and port. Click and click. Very good. Now, almost there. These are kind of epaulets, aren't they? Yes, I think we can call them that. Then these. this is the wing array. And you can basically arrange that any way you like. Now, what we'll do here... He'll we'll pull out his hands first of all. He's got really nice hands. Yeah, very cool. Nice big uh, gestalt hands, which are, you know, a good... They remind me of the R.I.D. Ultra Magnus hands. They look really like it. If you have R.I.D. Ultra Magnus, same color and everything. Then we can get the head revealed last. I think we might have to open up the front a little bit. Just have to open up the front a little bit. Because the, the head is this cockpit here. And it comes all the way up like that. He's got a very good head sculpt. I really like how he looks. Yeah, he's a really good kind of. He very much a very much a Japanese style head. He really does. Surprisingly good articulation for such a big bot, for such a big gestalt. There's lots going on. His arms will bend. You know, very standard range of movement, which you don't always expect. You don't always expect that from a, a, a Gestalt, and certainly not one, certainly not one of this age. He can hold his, uh, he can hold the shield, he can hold the combined weapons of some of the others. Um, but I just like to display him without, because sometimes I think whenever you display Gestalts and um, like Predaking, Predaking looks great with all his accoutrements, but then he's just a mess of orange, black, and gold, and he's very it's very hard to discern a bot really. This guy has the same kind of thing going on. Once you stick all his accessories, all his weapons into his hand, it's really difficult to discern a bot. And the bot might, you know, one dare say suffer just a little bit from all these things put into his hand. But if you display him like that, he looks like a pretty decent bot. Because he is a pretty decent bot. We'll put his wings up like that. Lovely thing. He's becoming a little more difficult to get these days. If you get all three bots. 
with all their um, accessories for 50 quid, I think go for it. If you like trains, if you like combiners, uh, these guys are one to go for, certainly. Really nice uh, alt modes, really nice bots, and very successful combined form. Does exactly what a really good Gestalt should do. Nothing is massively compromised, and everything looks great in the end. Good, good. This is probably quite a long review. Didn't mean it to be, but there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Ray with Real Racer. Thank you very much. Hope you like this guy. I certainly do. One of my fave uh, gestalts because he's easily one of the most uh, successful. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, signing out. Now that's what I call a robot in the sky. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Good night.